Hey there, Augmented Engineers. Welcome to another episode of Why Bother Reading When You Can Just Watch a Video. Today, we'll be talking about YOLO V8, the latest and greatest object detection model from Ultralytics. You know, the people who brought you YOLO V5 and forgot to write a paper about it. Yeah, those guys. Now, you must be thinking, what is the big deal? It's just another object detection model, but let me tell you, this thing is a game changer. It's like upgrading from a tricycle to a Ferrari. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe not a tricycle. Maybe like a BMW or Mercedes. Now, before we take a dive into YOLO V8, let's take a moment to appreciate the entire YOLO family. If you're looking to learn YOLO V8, V7, V6, V5, V5,672.523 and beyond, We've got you covered. Introducing the most comprehensive mega course on YOLO on the planet, where you can build over 50 projects in Flask, Streamlit, PyQt, and Kiwi. It's like a whole buffet of object detection. You can have a taste of everything. But let's be real, you're probably just here for YOLO V8. So if you're ready to become a YOLO master, then check out YOLO Plus in the links down below. The architecture of YOLO V8 is quite a game changer, featuring a new backbone network that you can think of sort of like the Eye of Sauron, but the tower itself providing support and stability. And the anchor free head, which is like the spying eye that likes to watch little hobbitses when they're wearing the one ring, allowing for more precise and accurate detections and spying. And let's not forget the new loss function because who doesn't love a good loss? We'll only be able to take a deep dive into the actual architecture improvements once Ultralytics releases the peer-reviewed paper. Based on YOLO V5, we can expect this paper to be released never. But who knows? Maybe they can prove me wrong. But let's not get too caught up in the technicalities. Let's talk about performance. YOLO V8 is sure to impress with its accuracy improvements that will have you questioning the very fabric of reality. And it's not just us saying it, the Coco Benchmark has spoken. And let's not forget the real-time processing capabilities that is sure to revolutionize the world as we know it or not. And that's not all, folks. YOLO V8 comes in a variety of flavors, just like your favorite fast food fries. So there's YOLO V8 Nano, the smallest and fastest of them all, perfect for those who want their object detection done in a jiffy. Then we've got YOLO V8 Large, slightly bigger, chunky but funky, you know, but accurate for detections. Next up, we've got my boy YOLO V8 Medium, which you can think of the Goldilocks of the bunch. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. And for those who like to take their time, we've got YOLO V8 Small, and YOLO V8 extra, extra chunky, I mean extra, extra large. The latter being the most accurate, yet the slowest among them all. It's like choosing McDonald's small, medium, large, and extra large fries. So how does YOLO V8 compare to its predecessors like YOLO V7, V6, and YOLO V5? Hmm, yeah. It's very clear. YOLO V8 gives the other models a can of whoop ass in terms of mean average precision. Video of that right over here. A comparison done by Learn OpenCV shows the performance between V8 and V5, and it shows some serious gains in terms of classification, object detection, and segmentation models. And this is assuming an image size of 640. Now let's talk about features. YOLO V8 comes with a user-friendly API that's like a personal assistant for developers. It makes it easy for them to use their own YOLO V8 in their own programs. It can do a lot of things like finding objects, coloring specific parts of an object also known as object segmentation, and sorting pictures by what's in them, referred to as predicting the classes. It's like having your own personal superhero sidekick with supervision. But here's the catch. YOLO V8 doesn't feature pose models like YOLO V7. You know, the thing that lets programs figure out how to pinpoint the joints of a person and its position in the picture, you know, similar to how it's done on your Xbox Connect. But don't worry, I'm sure the people at Ultralytics are probably working on it once they have delivered the academic paper for YOLO V8. So in conclusion, YOLO V8 is a great model that can find and identify lots of different things in pictures and videos. It's really good at it and it does it really fast too. It comes with a friendly API which makes it easy for other people to use for their own projects and applications. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative and not so informative videos like this one. And always remember, why bother reading when you can just watch a video? If you would like to learn YOLO V8, V7, V6, V5 and beyond, we have the most comprehensive mega course on YOLO on the planet where you can build over 50 YOLO projects. Check it out at YOLO Plus on www.augmentedstartups.com and the links are all down below. And if you'd like to run YOLO V8 in Google Colab, then check this video right up here.